I found the address of his relatives and already contacted them. I'll personally go to New Home and prepare his belongings and ashes to transport. This weekend it will be handed over to his family. Tori, do you understand what this means? Since this is the last human, the last condition from humans will be fulfilled. And they'll allow me to adopt Chris. That's right. Finally. Asriel, Tara, did you hear that? Your little brother is about to become a part of our family for real. Oh, Tori. Hands. <coughs> I have only black tea. You want some? I'm all out of the flower one. Okay. Dear Tori, why are you so sure that Frisk needs this kind of family? Well, what do you think? Wow, you surprised me. You're always so practical and now you said something so naive. I'm trying to be sincere with you, but you... I'm done talking to you. Forgive me this time, please. <laughs> I just want to say that it's so sweet. The fact that you're caring so much about him. I don't know if your plan will work, but I'll do my best to help you. It's the first thunderstorm this year. Suddenly, I remembered something about Azrael. So what is it? Is this about his attack, which he knocked the breath out of me in a second? Azrael doesn't like thunder. I often dragged him with me to watch the storms. He was always nervous, but he didn't resist. My... My body... Moved by itself. Flowey? Are you there? You okay there? What? Flowey, what are you? No, you never assumed. It has no truth in it. It's okay, it's just thunder. I'm not scared. I'm far from being scared. Don't tell anyone about this. It was the first and last time ever. He got it. Sure, I get it. <laughs> Mom didn't turn on the lights for you again. She was probably in a hurry. Asgore was waiting. Frisk, don't shield her. Seems like she thinks that electric light isn't so necessary for flowers. I can't say that she's wrong. What is this? Frisk, look! The light in the hall went out! Fuse must have blown or something. What's with the light? Is it because of the weather? Maybe. Did Alfred say about what we should do in such situations? No. We have to call him. Right. His number is on the fridge door. You call Alfred, I'll go check on my child. My child, did anything happen up there? Nothing, I think. Oh, I see. Go to your room and wait until Asgore and I figure out what's going on. Wait, Mom, I think I know what- Do not worry, my child. Your mom will fix everything. If you listened to me, it would have been easier to fix the light. Can we do it ourselves? What it? Can we find and solve this problem ourselves? I'm not really sure. 
I don't think kids should be messing with wires. Is that all because of my bad influence or what? Should I remind you what happened when we wanted to solve anything ourselves? Trust me, Frisk. I wasn't born yesterday. I think even I can push the switch. Alright, I trust you. I hope you'll call Mom if something goes wrong, right? What did Alfred say? We need to check the electrical panel on the first and second floors. If the problem is in this house, you need to call an electrician. Is it really that easy? It's locked. Let me try. So, what are we gonna do? One lever must be lowered. If this is the case, we'll have to lower the neighboring one and then raise them both at the same time. It's dark here. Okay, I get you. I'll do it. And you don't interfere. Chris, look, there's a flashlight. Oh, Flowey, I can use a flashlight for you if you wish. So, let there be light. Your god brother. Flowey? What? What is that? How did you... Hmm? That's... the electricity panel, I think? You told me what I was supposed to do with it. My child, I thought you went to your room. Sorry, Mom, it was so dark I went the wrong way. What are you doing here? Are you hurt? You know that children should not play with- Mom, Mom, it's okay, I didn't touch anything. Flory did everything himself. You didn't? I didn't, Mom. How is it, Tori? Frisk Flower has already fixed everything. The problem was in this house. Oh. Oh, Alfred, you're still here. It's all right. The children found what was wrong themselves. Yes, everything is okay now, thanks to Frisk. Grandpa! Ascor, may I talk to him? May I? All right now, give me a minute to end the... Oh, okay. I'll pass them the phone. My child, it's impolite to interrupt adults when they're talking. Hi. You haven't called me this week yet. Why? It's only Tuesday, but still. Oh, God. Oof. Well, actually, I suspected you were capable of doing something like this. But the fact that you would show yourself in such a stupid way wasn't even in my thoughts. You know, at the beginning I thought you did it accidentally. I know you could. And then... I looked at your face and understood everything. We need to call each other more than a couple of times a week, right, Frisky? We could try to do it. <laughs> When school is over, I will call you every day. How are you? Are you feeling better now? I cough sometimes, but yes, I feel much better. I hope you're treated well, right? Sure. I think that I'll be completely healthy when we go to Ebbet. Huh? Why Ebbet? Haven't they told you yet? N no. What were they supposed to tell me? Uh, uh, um. I wanted to tell you this over dinner, but apparently we need to do it now. My dear child, next week we will go to arrange your adoption. We're going to be a family. You mean, next week I'll have my real mom and my real dad? I'm... So, so, so happy! What's going on there, Frisk? I'm so sorry, Mom. I should have been happy, but I burst into tears. I'm really, really happy. It's all right, my child. Don't hold back. Cry if you want to cry. <laughs> <laughs>